Hello, it's quite Which oil do I use? Well, I don't use lard. I use butter sometimes, but usually only with garlic. Uh, I'll show you an example. Uh, if I'm lazy and I can't be bothered to chop up some garlic, then I use these garlic butter things, which taste absolutely great, but uh, they are very fatty, and they stay fatty, and they also produce trans fatty acids. And If you're American, you probably know about trans fatty acids. They're not very good for you. So, what oils are not trans fatty acid when you cook them? Well, um peanut oil and extra virgin olive oil. Those two are guaranteed not to produce any trans fatty acids after you cook them. Vegetable oil is a no-no if you want to stay healthy. Okay, so we have peanut oil. La! It's very kind of golden in colour. It's absolutely, it's so nice to smell. It just smells of peanuts. I love nuts. That sounds wrong, but I do, I love peanuts, I, I absolutely love peanuts, and this just, the oil is so fantastic, it's so versatile, and it's the only oil to use at high temperatures, so if you're using oil for deep fat frying, or um, cooking in a wok, cooking stir fries, cooking in a frying pan, um, always use peanut oil, if you're, if you're cooking something with not a lot of sauce, the temperature will get very hot in the pan if you're putting on high heat. You have to use peanut oil, don't use anything else. And you won't get this burnt taste in your food. If you've been experiencing this kind of slightly odd taste in your food, it might be that your food is being, the oil has got burnt in your food and you're tasting that. Um, otherwise, use extra virgin olive oil. The health benefits in having extra virgin olive oil are just unbelievable. They are high in um, uh, the good cholesterol which kills um, the bad cholesterol around your heart which unclogs your heart. Um, these extra olive oils um, are all from Italy. Uh, you can get them from Spain and South Africa and they are okay but the best tasting ones are definitely from Italy. We've actually bought these in Italy um, as we went round Italy uh, and I appreciate that not everyone can do that. You can buy some half decent um, extra virgin olive oil in your supermarkets like this one which I bought in Sainsbury's which is a UK supermarket. Um, this is cold press and unfiltered. Uh, it's from some factory somewhere in Italy it's not brilliant in taste, but it's better than most olive oils. That costs about five pounds, which is about ten dollars, ten US dollars. Well, it's not too bad. These olive oils here from Italy are very cheap. Um, they cost about eight euros, uh, five to anywhere from five to ten euros, which is about three to seven pounds or. 6 to 14 US dollars. But I say it's very cheap, it's because they're extremely good quality. Uh, they're uh, to be called extra virgin, okay, just in case you're wondering why they're called extra virgin olive oil, it means that they're not treated at all. They're literally pressed out of the uh, olives and that's it, and then they're bottled. They, they don't have to put it through or mix it in with anything so that you don't get these odd tastes um, or this kind of refinement in the oil because it was crap to start off with. The oil itself has to be extremely, extremely good quality to be able to um, yeah, be extra virgin, uh, otherwise you can taste that it's rubbish like these uh, local supermarket extra virgin olive oils. Uh, this is uh, my favourite olive oil at the moment, it's from Saturnia. Uh, they're all called extra virgin olive oil, there's no special names. 
but this particular one is just fantastic. In Italy they actually label the number um, and the date that it was bottled up on the on the bottles usually. This one doesn't have the date that it was bottled uh, but it is number 4,888.4. This is from Castello de Grotti which was a, a castle we stayed at. It was a complimentary bottle of olive oil and uh, these are these are handmade um, uh, oh, that's from Siena. It's lovely. This is a uh, one from Ciancatera, uh, in the northwest of Italy. Oh, this is a fantastic olive oil. Uh, Ciancatera is very, very small, and so this this olive oil is very, very special. It's only number six hundred and forty-three. They don't make very much uh, olive oil over there. Uh, this one I haven't tasted actually yet, uh, which I should do soon. Uh, this is from the Ligura region, which apparently is one of the best regions for olive oil, so I should really, really taste that very soon. And uh, this is Cassie's favourite. This is from Florence. Uh, it's uh, made by Galadi. And it is uh, very, very, very good olive oil. Very, very nice. So it's got a very nice taste to it. It's a lot thinner though than my favourite, which is my Saturni one, which is very full bodied. It's like uh, if you're drinking wine, some people say, do you drink white or do you drink red? Um, and uh, people with more developed taste would say, would you like a Claret or a Bordeaux? It's the same with olive oil. Uh, you have to have a lot of it to be able to really appreciate it but because we cook with it every single day um, you tend to notice difference quite quickly we can actually now tell which olive oil we're using uh, without having seen what it was cooked with so there you go uh, a little oil session uh, I don't really if I use butter I use um, uh, Jersey butter, very thick creamy butter, uh, really really bad for you but it's butter so you may as well get the worst one right, uh, <laughs> it's full bodied it tastes great um, but it burns, it, if you're cooking butter it has to be, make sure you don't use full heat, okay so I hope that helps you, this is Kwai Chi signing out. <laughs>